Hello everyone and good day. Welcome once again to our uh, fellowship with the Lord. And uh, binabati ko po kayong lahat ng isang magandang araw at pagpalain po kayo ng ating Diyos ngayong araw na ito. Ayan. Today our passage or topic is from the book of Ephesians. Ephesians 5, 15 to 16. If you have Bible with you, you can open and we can read together. Ephesians 5, 15 to 16. 15, uh, Ephesians 5, 15 to 16. Let's read. Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise. 16. Making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. Pagpalain tayo ng Diyos sa ating pagbasa sa kanyang mga salita. Uh, tayo po manalangin. Aming Diyos sa langit, maraming salamat sa araw na ito. We are thank you Lord for this time, this opportunity that you've given us, Lord God, to know you, to see you, to experience, Lord God, your goodness in our lives. Uh, we continue to worship you. We continue to give our, our time to you, Lord God. We continue, Lord, to to seek you in the midst of our day. Uh, we ask, Lord, your leading. We ask, Lord, your wisdom. We ask, Lord, your presence to comfort us upon doing this study of your word. You may continue to speak to us. You may continue to, to give us the spirit of understanding, Lord God we can able to to know your message today we can able to receive your message today we thank you we thank you for everything but you deserve the glory you deserve the honor you deserve the highest praise and worship in the name of your son our lord our savior our god in the name of jesus christ amen amen so Ephesians 5.16 is saying that look carefully then how you walk. Not as unwise, but as wise. Making the best use of the time because the days are evil. So what does it mean? What the Lord means about this Ephesians 5.16 Ephesians 5.16 in the King James Version says, See then what ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, Because the days are evil. The praise redeeming in the time is also found in Colossians 4, 5. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without redeeming the time. In both passages, redeeming the time is related to wisdom on how we walk, that is, in how we live. For so many things happening in the world, we have to think about how we walk in our life. To redeem something means to buy it back, to regain a possession. Time is a gift of God and none of us know how much of it or 
we are all allotted. Sabi sa Matthew, masasabi mo ba na bukas ay buhay ka pa? So dahil nga hindi natin alam kung ano mangyayari bukas, so let us rejoice this day. Let us uh, give our our time for seeking God. Only God knows how much time each of us has on this earth to make a decision that will impact eternity. When God says we should be redeeming the time, He wants us to live in constant awareness of the ticking clock and make the most of the time we have. In fact, the New International Version or NIV translation of Ephesians 5.16 uses the phrase making the most of every opportunity instead of redeeming the time rather than waste your our days on frivolous pursuits that leave no lasting imprint. Scripture instructs us to be diligent about doing good. Doing good means seeking the righteousness of God. The context of the command to redeem the time help us understand what redeeming the time looks or looks like and why it's important. Why is it is important the redeeming time? Be careful how you live. Don't live like a fool, but like those who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. Don't act thoughtlessness or thoughtlessly. But understand what the Lord wants you to do. Don't be drunk with wine because, because that will ruin your life. This is recorded in Ephesians 5, 15 to 18. Redeeming the time means that we are careful in how we live. We seek out and employ wisdom. We seize every opportunity and use it for God's glory. We think through our plans and make sure they align with God's will. And we avoid empty, harmful activities such as getting drunk. Why are we, we to live this way? Because the days are evil. The days are evil. We must overcome evil with good. The Bible says that days are, are evil. As we can see, many people are thinking, wasting time. Wasting time means worldly time, worldly activities. And they never thank God. Jesus taught his disciples the necessity of redeeming the time. We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when one can work according to John 9, 4. Jesus was diligent about keeping his mission. Destruction were as prevalent than as they are now. But he let none of them deter him from preaching and teaching God's word. That was why we had come and thought he spent only 33 years in this earth. Jesus changed the world, the world forever because he redeemed the time. When the Lord Jesus was ministering in this in earth, 
he never waste the time. He continue to speak to the people, to speak to the crowd about uh, the future, about the good news, about salvation. And this things, this work is given to us. By, the, by God, by the Lord Jesus. Imitate me, according to the Lord Jesus. So, the work of the Lord Jesus in this earth is continuous through the believer of the Lord Jesus, through us. So, we have to, to give our works more on the oh, heavenly values than earthly values. We can learn to, do, to redeem the time by becoming conscious of the fact that we may not have another day. Do you remember the song of Live Like You Were Dying? by Tim McGraw is about redeeming or redeeming the time. While it's focused on its pursuing earthly possession in the time we have left, the lyrics make an important point. They conclude with his thoughts, Someday I hope you get the chance to live like you were dying. As Christians, we should live like we were dying and pursue all God has given us to do while we have time. Everything done for Christ on earth earns eternal rewards. Amen. That which was done for selfish carnal reasons will burn up and blow away. Another way to learn to redeem the time is by asking God help. We should start every morning by committing our day to, to the Lord and asking Him to help us do something that they, that they has eternal significance. By beginning our day with eternity in mind, we become more aware of spiritual nudges in our hearts we look for ways we can honor the lord help someone else or utilize our time in productive ways setting the red light we can pray for our neighbor mapping the floor we can worship in song at a restaurant we can leave an extra big tip along with a gospel track or a card inviting the, wa the, the waiter to church. We can evaluate our gifts and interests to find ways to invest uh, for God's kingdom. Volunteering, serving a church, leading a ministry, taking a Bible study to the jails or everywhere, wherever you are. This is redeeming time. When you do something to seek God, to spread the gospel of God to the community, this is the redeeming time that God wants us to do in, the, in this time. Seeking God is a redeeming time. Bible study is a redeeming time. Praying is a redeeming time. Exhortation is a redeeming time. When you do the exhortation to encourage other that there is God in this life, then this is a redeeming time. James 4.14 reminds us that our earthly li lives are no more than fag that appears and then quickly evaporates uh, ang ating buhay ay dito sa mundo ay parang hamog 
na pag sumikat ang araw ay natutuyo. So, ganun kabilis ang ating buhay. So, kung alam natin na ganun kabilis ang ating buhay, why don't we serve God while we are living in this earth? This is our duty, to serve God. Our money and possession will be given to someone else. Our job will be filled by by others. Our families may remember us with fondness, but will move on with lives that don't don't include us. All that remains of our lives on earth is that which was in invested in eternity. In the end, all that matters is what we did or did not to do redeem the time. So think about the things that more important with valuable. Valuable means earthly or heavenly heavenly uh, valuable not earthly valuables this is the message of the lord to become aware for what we are doing it should be given to god when we go outside from our house it should be uh, uh, glorifying the kingdom of God when we do something it's all about God our life is all about God this is the purpose of our life amen amen heavenly father we thank you lord for this wonderful revelation we thank you lord for the one wonderful truth that you given us lord God that our life in earth is just temporary it's just like a fog and it dry ups in a moment we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful uh, wisdom, uh, your message today. Continue, Lord, uh, and help us to apply your message, Lord God, in our lives, Lord God. Continue to speak to us, Lord God. Continue to work in our lives. Or you deserve the glory, you deserve the honor, you deserve the highest praise, you deserve the worship. In your name, O Lord Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, and thank you everyone, and uh, see you in the next Bible study. Continue to pray, continue to seek God. Continue to read the Bible, especially the Gospel from Matthew, Mark, John. Uh, Proverbs, uh, Ecclesiastes, these are the Bible, uh, the, the, the Bible, and that you can uh, experience that God is there. Amen. See you in the Bible study. Thank you very much, and uh, God bless you all. God bless you all. Thank you.